Cape Town has become very familiar with the saying, if it's yellow, let it mellow, as uh, severe water restrictions ask residents not to flush after urinating. It's no coincidence that a senior lecturer from the University of Cape Town has found some clever uses for urine by recycling it. Treasure can be found in the most remarkable and unexpected places. That statement certainly rings true for senior engineering lecturer Dr. Dylan Randall, who is recycling urine, yes, we, into fertilizer and bio bricks. So time for me to don the white coat and enter the lab to find out a little bit more. By recycling urine into useful products, Dr. Dylan Randall's unique project could be a solution to save millions of litres of water that are simply flushed away across the country. You've called it your liquid gold and, it, and it's certainly readily available. What makes this such a, a valuable and viable resource to use in this kind of recycling project? A lot of the nutrients found in urine, so for example, the phosphorus, the nitrogen, if we allow that to enter the environment, we get eutrophication. So we get the algae blooms that typically form in dams. But if you were to recover those nutrients, you could produce a fertilizer. And we're actually running out of natural phosphorus, for example. So if we recover this phosphorus from our urine, we can produce the fertilizer in a more sustainable way. So in layman's terms, how does the system actually work? Break it down for us. So basically, you have your urinal and you have the container at the bottom. In that, we have calcium hydroxide or lime. We need about 10 grams per liter to make the fertilizer. So considering this is a 25 liter container, you would add 250 grams of the calcium hydroxide to this container. And then basically you pee and leave it long enough, all of it will dissolve. But during that process, you automatically making your calcium phosphate, your fertilizer. Whilst our urine produces phosphorus, which we know when treated is a key component of fertilizer, by extracting our urine in this way, it's been shown to save up to three liters of water per flush. In fact, in some modern toilets, up to six liters. So time for me to do my part for the environment, uh, but I'll need a bit of privacy, please. <clears throat> So one of the other applications that we've heard about is the bio brick, something that I know very much is in its infancy. Talk me through that part of the process and those implications. Basically, once we've removed the fertilizer from the urine, we have that liquid component left over. And we use that to essentially make biosolids or bio bricks. And the way that process works is you take normal sand or actually any loose solid and you add it to this reactor and you also have to add bacteria. So the bacteria then colonize the sand. And when you feed them the urine solution, they start solidifying or cementing the sand particles together. So the next step would basically be to make our bio brick using that process. So this is almost like using science to help nature heal itself. This is unbelievable to me it really is amazing when you look at the kind of response that you've had the way that the media has grabbed hold of this the awards that are coming in this has got to be encouraging to you i think it's a great acknowledgement from the general public showing interest in something that we're doing here at uct and i'm also really grateful for the open-mindedness of people and the acceptance of such novel technologies. So for example, who would have thought, you know, recovering fertilizer from urine or making bio bricks or biosolids using that same urine. So that kind of interest gives me a lot of hope for the future in terms of achieving a sustainable future and environment. With the projects already winning awards and the bio bricks heading into the next phase of development, the future of this unique technology is looking golden. Uh, excuse the pun. This is next level innovation. I mean, using water waste, or effectively what we now know as liquid gold, to create products that could uplift the community, maybe even save our planet. And all the while, saving liters of water in the process. Amazing.